last time I saw my family was May 1975. When I was young, I was mainly the support team of my family. We had a good connection. I just hope they remember me. I haven't seen them in a long time. And I hope they're there. My name is Otis Johnson. I was in prison from 1975 to 2014 for attempt murder of a police officer. Prisons affected me a lot. My re-entry was a little bit hard at first because things had changed. A majority of the people was talking to themselves, and then I looked closer and they seemed to have things in their ears. Oh, so with iPhones, they call them or something like that. I think in 1998 or something like that, I lost contact with uh, my family. Coming out of prison, right, I was mainly alone. Like I said, I had no birth certificate, nothing like that. I had no family, no girlfriends, no sisters, no brothers, no people that I could communicate that I had years ago that might could help me adjust in this society. I want to go to Asbury Park to find my family. The only address I really had was Asbury Park. You from here? Yeah. How long you been here? All my life. You know Daddy Moore? He passed away, right? No, I hope not. Where's Springwood Avenue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened to the projects? When was the last time you was here? 1975. 1975? I just right. got out of prison. During 40 years. Right. My aunt was Daddy Moore. I know Daddy, but I don't know if that's the same guy. She used to have a store on Springwood Avenue. Daddy Moore is like my mother. That's who I went to. Sometimes we got psychiatrists. Psychiatrists got psychiatrists too. And there's somebody that's something to do. She was everything to me. We lived in Pine Street, so that's the main address I was going to first. I'm almost sure it's this one. Problem is, I'm scared. Daddy Moore. I'm looking for a Daddy Moore that used to live here. Daddy Moore. No, they didn't know Oh, no. They moved. Oh. Daddy Moore? Daddy Moore. And she's living in the second house right there. Mm -hmm. Well, he needs to go see Carol Lynn at the... You yep. need to it's see Carol Lynn. I heard that name. Do you know <laughs> a man named Otis Johnson? They called him Sonny. Carol? Wow. Yes, Otis Johnson. They used to call me Sonny. I remember you, but you used to be a tough girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. She still is. <laughs> I forget him. Oh, God. Okay. You still don't take no mess. Yeah. Oh. Right. Wow. You're getting ready to cry. Uh -huh. It's just so emotional. Okay. Daddy, tell somebody yes, that you, yo, good, good luck to you. you. Yeah. Okay. okay. God, bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Right. Huh? You know, trying to find all my cousins and stuff. She knew part of my family and she knew some of the people that I socialized with when I was young. And I wouldn't know. Real good, good, good boy. You know, I was also a bad boy too. I know I ain't right, I'm a dog. And all the other things that you heard on the blog. I know I got many flaws. This poor little kid that ain't had many chores. Uh, I grew up like Bam in the party going ham. I threw up like Bam. Everybody get the breath. FOI, if you do this long, Mason, you know why? Mason, you know That means like a feral con, not a follow. Because a lot of people got a wrong interpretation. Do you remember Calvin Lane? She introduced me to these four people, and they knew my people right away. One of them was named Cal. He said my name before I had said myself. Oh, that's Cal! You put the other one! Oh, man! You know this? Ah! That's my boy, Otis! That's how I do, Calvin. Oh, yeah. yeah. The game of love gets so ugly, like the best you don't pay at the school. I will knock you out. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Some is they, my people say, kept me in their mind. Calvin, but because he was part of the hood too. Calvin's really the one that ended this to uh, my family. Everybody knew each other's around here. Eventually, as I keep talking about all this the stuff like that, there, it's all going to come out. Some person will know this person, some person will know that person, and then his family, somebody will know somebody in his family, which is going to come out and we're going to get him in touch with. You got an uncle live up on Dagon Hill. Yeah, Robert Harper. 
Hello? Rebecca? Yeah. You want to talk to your cousin or not? Yeah. You going to put him on? <laughs> You're talking to him, Rebecca. Oh, oh, okay. How you doing? I'm okay, kid. You know? That's good. I've been trying to find everybody. I'm in Asbury Park right now. We oh, over you are? Mm-hmm. Give Uncle Robert a, a call, okay? Okay, I will. Hi, Robert. I'm with Otis right now, and he's interested in seeing you guys. He hasn't seen you, obviously, for, you know, 40 years. And I was wondering if you'd be interested. They'd love to see you, they say. <laughs> okay. Uh, yay, he's really excited. I'm still feeling the influence that they don't really remember. I don't know how they're going to act, or if they're bad at me, or if they're happy. On the train, I was thinking about all that stuff. I think I got to meet them personally, show them this is something. Hey, kid. <laughs> no, no, you hate. No, you hate. Oh, I see. Oh, all right. My God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. I love you. Boy, I, when I saw you in the paper, I, the, oh, man, come on in, please. I am. Oh, I don't remember you ever been in this house. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you, you the one that uh, let me in the door. God delivered him back to me mm -hmm. in one piece, the same Otis. When you called today, oh, well, he know I had to kiss him. I had to kiss him. <laughs> Otis is a piece of my life. You experience as much as the guy that was on the front line, you know what I'm saying? And for you to be able to remotivate is a good thing for you. It's one of the best things that you can speak of, you know, being a minister. But it is good because you get a chance to talk to people. You could give them the story of real life behind those walls. The old song used to say, uh, yesterday is dead and gone, but tomorrow. Stole around, so you live like hell for the day, so you can get a chance to see tomorrow. You're part of me. I wish I could take you in and just stay here, but I'm overloaded. You know, and I'm 84 years old, going on 85, but I can still kick a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Who's captain? My mind. Who's captain? I don't forget but Yesterday is dead and gone. Tomorrow's out of sight And it's sad to be alone Help me make it through the night Lord, it's sad to 